I'm back again with another house. This time it's a castle. Well, it's supposed to be a castle. So I've applied some thick gesso there, heavy gesso, and just stamping into that with some various texture tools, some cheap, even a kitchen sponge. And I just wanted that so that it had a bit of texture and the darker colour that, that I apply in a minute um, goes down into the grooves. I don't even think you can see it in the end. Now these other pages that I'd done, I'd already fixed them, a fix, put a fixative on it. Um, and then a matte varnish. So I was able to wipe off anything that spilt on, on it. Now I watered the page here and then added some violet acrylic paint. And then I think I'll wipe it off, wipe it back a bit. And I was getting a bit um, messy there. So I couldn't put it down to wipe off the paint that went on the other side because it was wet. So I had to sort of dry it a bit first. And then I thought, oh, I'll get some glad wrap. Put on there. And now I can do it. Where there's a will, there's a way. And that added a bit more texture to it and now I'm wiping off some of the paint so some of the um, white shows through not a lot and now I'm mixing oh I'm going to stamp right this is PBO Diner iridescent blue green love that and it does show through in the end piece. So just taking some Tim Holtz Biddy Grunge background stamps and just stamping on there with the paint. Now this is some iridescent gold that I'm just going to splat on there. And then I thought oh, it might not be bright enough with the water so I decided just to dab a bit here and there with a um, small paintbrush. I don't even think, oh yeah I can see a bit of the gold. Right, so now I'm going to colour the sky and the grass. So I'm using the light blue permanent mixed with glazing medium for the sky and for the grass I'm mixing some glazing medium with some leaf green acrylic. So this is very similar to the one that I did. Um, you know, the um, large one I did on the Canson mixed media bit of paper. I think it was a nine by twelve. So there we go. Yeah, I thought it needed a little bit more blue. And that's the castle that I googled. And so I'm now attempting to draw that. And I end up missing a bit of the um sections as well but that's okay it's whimsical it's an art journal page so what am I using here a charcoal white pencil to draw the um, castle not real happy with this page I think I got a bit lax and I need to practice the floating method method more but that's what this journal is all about to practice um, practice drawing and shading and probably putting colors together as well I 
And I think I like the other two pages in this book better than this one. So it seems like I'm going backwards. But I will push on. No, I don't know why I showed all this. You didn't need to see all my um, struggle at drawing the castle. One thing I do need to do is practice drawing people or characters. Maybe I should start with those first. Not realism. No, I don't think we could go that far just yet. Long way to go. So I'm just so I'm just grabbing some pink Cadillac mixed with the glazing medium and I'm painting the roofs of the castle. The roofs and the windows got the better of me. I love the way the actual stonework of the castle turned out. Love it. But the um, shading of the windows and those roofs is just a mess. But we'll practice. Now for the rest of the castle, I'm using a bisque acrylic paint mixed with the glazing medium. All right, so I won't put you through listening to my voice.
So now I'm painting the trees and I think oh I probably put it up there what I what color I used anyway it a link to the blog post which notes every product that I used on this page so there'll be a link below just click on it and go to my blog and you'll see everything that I used and there'll also be um, photos of the finished product. Now using a grey to paint the pathway. It just looks so ugly at the moment. What am I doing this for? Got some burgundy mixed with the pink that I already used, the pink Cadillac. Um, okay, going around, or, yep, yeah, the um, windows, making those a bit darker than the roofs. Still not looking any better. Anyway, leave you to it. So here I go. Don't know for what reason I decided to use an intense pencil to do the shading around the house and the windows, or the house, the castle. Um, I tend to try, I overworked it and I just stuff it. I've tr I tried so many different mediums to get the shading right that it just looks a right royal mess but anyway you'll see what I'm using and how I go about it and how I struggle through it so I'll be back soon
So now I'm trying to make the castle look like a castle with the stonework and I'm using distress markers for that. Uh, brushed corduroy and I think I end up using vintage photo as well. Can't remember. Uh, again, all the products listed will used will be listed on my blog. Oh, there you go. It was vintage photo. So just going through and drawing, drawing on some faux stonework on the castle, and it does make a huge difference. It doesn't take away from the fact that those roofs, that red is ugly. But I'll let it go. And I'll try, try again. See, that does make a little bit of a difference. I think I go back to the roofs and try and fix it again. But anyway, you'll see what I do. And I'll be back. another marker. I prefer the colour of this one, the Cherry Cobbler. It's not as pink, it's more of a burgundy. So I wish I've had a, used that in the first place because it's so messy with all the pinks that I have used that um, it's pointless even using it. But anyway, I try, try again. Um, yeah, it helped on those. Oh, those, I don't know what they are. Those little things at the top of the, yeah, anyway. Now I'm going to attempt to shade around the trees with some Hooker's Green Dark mixed with some Mars Black. So I'll leave you to it to have a chuckle or switch off one of the two.
So here I um, was just um, trying to make look their, like their stones. I think I used Payne's Grey, just mixed with water and the um, angle brush. Not too bad. They could have been better, but anyway. So what am I doing? Ah, drawing hearts with a Stabilo All pencil. That was a lot better than the um, charcoal one. And painting them with some white mixed with um, glazing medium. And it definitely needs a bit more white to make it pop. And I eventually use some pure white soon, so that helps. Here I go with the windows again. See, just can't help myself. Was not happy, still not happy, but it is what it is. And I ain't going there again. I'll um, practice next time. And I think it may even be just because it's a smallish castle. Maybe if I was doing a bigger size of castle it may have been a bit easier and that's what I probably should be doing first instead of trying on smaller um, pieces. Yeah, still trying to get some depth to those windows. That one above the door is just atrocious. Yep, just making a big a mess. Got to try and shade that door too, yet. Should have just left the windows alone. Or should have had a castle without roofs. Yeah, I think I've bit, I added a bit more of the black to that burgundy for the door. Just separating those little turret areas. Giving those some sort of dimension. Can't believe how dark it looks opposed to the finished piece. And I think the addition of the, the solid white really makes it all pop. Just got to get there. I'm uh, just trying to give the um, grass area some highlights. And adding a bit of pink to the stonework on the castle because there's not enough pink there already is there I must be getting ready to outline it yep I think I take a food ball pen yep it's very smooth so I like using this one it never lets me down doesn't get clogged so I basically outline everything there so I'll be back when I start on the white
so before I do the solid white, I give the clouds some highlights with some Lumiere's paint in the pearl white. And then I outline the clouds with the food ball pen. Now taking the McGill dual tipped stylus and adding some solid white to the ground area. So just creating some faux flowers. And that's really making a difference. So instead of adding flags and flagpoles um, that the image had, I decided to add some of the pure white with the stylus and that really helped. And then adding some icicles stickles to the hearts helped even more. And then for the strings from the clouds down to the hearts, instead of using just a black marker or a white marker, I did the dots with the stylus tool and that really, really helped. So, all right, thank goodness it's done. Hopefully the next one won't be as much of a struggle. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.